tekst. We hebben het al aangekondigd. We gaan praten met Paul Turner. Dit keer niet over zijn muziek, maar het gaat over een boek die hij heeft geschreven. En vorig jaar hebben we daar al het een en ander over gezegd. Hallo Paul. Hallo. How are you? I am very good. How are you? Good. Yeah, we're good too. It's been a while since we've last spoken to each other. Yes. A year almost, right? Yeah, I think, yeah, a year. <laughs> yeah. A lot can happen in a year time. A lot can happen in a year. A lot can be written in a year. Yes, so. indeed. <laughs> Has it been a year since you've um, written the book or did you wrote it last year? Yeah, so it took me a while, like, because I'm very new to the book world, of course. And uh, I met with Leopold, uh, that's my publisher, a few years ago. And they put their trust in me to write this book because I've always wanted to tell uh, the story about my childhood. And then the process took quite long. I think I finished the book a year ago, but of course it takes maybe like a year to edit and fine tune and then we choose the cover. And of course now it's translated. So it was very, very exciting. And I loved the fact that I was a part of every step of the way. Yeah, I can imagine so. So you've written um, basically two books, one for children and one for adults. Yeah, well, the story is the, story is the same, but we wanted to do a different cover because, of course, uh, the story is over my life as a teenager. So primarily it was aimed towards that age group. But whilst writing it, we realized that actually maybe other people can also take something from it because it, throughout the book I, I discover my own self-confidence and the fact that what could have been my weakness, which was me being fat, wasn't my weakness. So we made a separate cover to the same book so that adults would also uh, be interested in it. So the book is basically about your passion for food and the way yes. it expanded. <laughs> my addiction. <laughs> yes, your addiction. I'm an adult, I realize uh, I was completely addicted to, the, to cakes and sweets and burgers and pizzas. Anything. You still are? <laughs> no, no. Now, the, the thing is, I think, uh, like as an adult, like I said, I realized that it was an addiction, but as a kid, you don't really understand all those things. And now, since I decided to lose weight, uh, uh, the book um, goes to about when I was 15, when I, when I was in an experience that wasn't very nice. I wanted to start dancing, and because of my weight, I wasn't allowed. So for the first time in my life, uh, my weight was in my way. You know, all the other times it was so much fun and people liked it and I managed to make a joke out of it or I learned who I am today from it. But then all of a sudden it, it was the the wall that stood between me and what I always loved to do. So I went to Weight Watchers actually and became educated in food. So now I'm more educated to, to respect food in a, in a different way to when I was a child. Yeah, but Paul, did nobody in your surroundings uh, notice the gain of weight uh, for you? And did nobody warn you to say, Paul, this isn't going in the, wrong, in the right direction? Well, I think again, being so young, if the people around you or my family see a happy child, you can't ask for more. Like now, again, now I'm an adult, I realize that all you want for your, your children, like my brother has children and all I want for them is for them to be happy. And I think, you know, in, in the society, again, that sees, like fat isn't healthy. There's no way I would promote that being fat is healthy, but what isn't healthy is being pressured into changing who you are. And I was so lucky to have the environment I was in where people do, that they see through my fatness that I was, then able to decide for myself, okay, this is not working, this is not right for me, I'm going to lose the weight. And then I was able to stay clear from like peer pressure or, you know, the, the sad road that uh, eating disorders are on. And I was able to do it in a very healthy manner. Yeah. Your turning point was at the age of 16 and you started dancing? Yeah, uh, I think... Oh, maybe I was a little bit younger. I think I was like 14 because uh, I was at my biggest at 15. So at around 14, I started to go to drama school. So first of all, I started because I acted all the way through school because I don't know if you know this, but I quite like attention. Yes. <laughs> it's, it's not a surprise <laughs> to people. Um, so I went to drama school and then it was like on a Tuesday night or something. And after the... A drama lesson there was a dance lesson so after a few months I was like okay I really want to do this and I started dancing and realized everyone was so much fitter than I was I was like red-faced sweating and people were kicking their legs and I could barely lift my feet off the floor 
But the dancing one, like, was quite fun. And then uh, the lesson after that was tap dancing. And I just saw it and was like, wow, okay, this is something I really want to do. You get to dance around in shoes that make so much noise. It's like you have a drum kit on your feet. I was like, I need to do this. And I was told, well, my mother was told, like, yeah, I cannot do it because of my, my ankles are too weak for my weight. But the, the teacher liked me, so I was allowed to stand in the lesson. But I had to keep moving to the side. And I think for for a, a kid that age, it's really upsetting to... Uh, I knew I was different, but it was obvious that I was different because, you know, I was in a group of kids. Everyone else is allowed to do it, and I'm moving off to the side. And it makes people see that you're moving off to the side. It makes you realize, like, why am I the only one moving to the side? And I, I think it was the first time I really felt fat was a, a bad thing. It was an issue for you. Yeah. Yeah. How long did it take you to lose all that weight? Uh, well, actually, again, with... Weight Watchers is such like a nice process for a kid because you get to really uh, have a balance. So I didn't, I literally went from 10 mils to three, don't get me wrong, but it was more of the fact that I could still have what I wanted, but I was then learning what vegetables were and and, and how to balance my, my diet out. And I think like it, it actually fell quite quickly. I was told to slow down at one point because I... I had so much passion for this new, like, sound energy, and I felt so good about myself. And of course, I had the goal of wanting to tap dance. But it, but it, but it, we, it will forever be an issue. Of course, once you're fat, you're always mentally a little bit fat. I think. Yeah. <laughs> the launch was amazing. I I felt so much support from my friends, and and this being this is a new adventure for me. Like I'm learning now, and apparently my book is with the reviewers, so I have all of my Fingers crossed that uh, they can read it and they can take something from it. Because, I, you know, if one person reads it and they gain a little bit more self-confidence, that for me is enough. Because I feel so proud of the person that I was, that this kid managed to know all of this, uh, you know, being so young. And he, he could stand there confidently and realize, okay, I'm fat, this is who I am. Uh, you're going to like me, I'm going to make you like me, and I really embraced it. And I think that is such a powerful thing, especially, you know, those years you're you're coming into yourself and you're going through so much change that you should really be happy with who you are. You're right. You can really be proud of yourself, Paul. Thank you. I I, I really am. Writing the book was like a bit like therapy, and I couldn't, I learned from him again, even though the him is me, I learned from him. That's always good. Yes, it yes, is. it is. <laughs> Paul, I really hope your book is going to turn out to be a success and oh, that it helps you. people, children, adults, doesn't matter, as long as um, they're able to learn from you and your struggle. Um, yes. Keep continuing doing what struggle. you're doing. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay, Paul. Well, we'd love to see you again uh, in Nunspeet when you're back in Holland, since you have yes. a busy tour at the moment. Yeah. I would love to come and see you. Okay. Thank you so much. For we'll the do it interview. next time. It. Bye bye, yes. Paul. Bye bye. Bye. Tot zover onze Paul Turner. Vorig jaar was hij te gast hier in de studio. En Paul heeft dus boeken geschreven, althans één boek. En dat is uh, verspreid voor een uh, volwassen exemplaar en ook voor de kinderen. Het heet Mijn strijd tegen de kilo's. Paul had een uh, grote passie en dat was de eten. De hele dag door eigenlijk wel. En hij merkte gewoon dat het op een gegeven moment hem in de weg kwam te zitten. Hij wilde heel graag uh, tapdansen, maar dat ging niet, want uh, zijn gewicht zat hem uh, in de weg. En op een gegeven moment heeft hij de knop omgezet en gedacht, nee, dit moet anders, dit gaat anders. Dus hij is kaart aan het werk geweest en uh, het resultaat mag er zijn. Paul die heeft alles kunnen bereiken wat hij wilde doen op dansgebied en op acteergebied en ook op zanggebied. Dus dat is een hele mooie prestatie. En Paul hoopt eigenlijk min of meer met zijn boeken andere mensen te kunnen stimuleren om hetzelfde te doen wanneer diegene in zo'n situatie zich bevindt. Dat is natuurlijk een heel mooi streven. Dus voor iedereen, het boek is nu verkrijgbaar, zo moet ik het zeggen. Kilo Knaller heet het en Paul Turner is zijn naam. We zijn altijd het meest compleet. Dit is Radio Nunspeet. Different from 